embark on a journey to the ends of the earth, where the mystical Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis illuminate the polar skies. These celestial curtains of light, dancing across the night sky, are a sight that has captivated observers for centuries. But what cause of these ethereal displays? Auroras, often referred to as polar lights, are the result of collisions between gaseous particles in the Earth's atmosphere and charged particles released from the Sun. When these charged particles enter the Earth's atmosphere, they collide with atoms and molecules, causing them to excite and emit light, creating the spectacle we know as the aurora. The color of the aurora depends on the type of gas particles that are colliding. The most common auroral color, a pale yellowish green, is produced by oxygen molecules located about 60 miles above Earth. Rare, all red auroras are produced by high altitude oxygen, at heights of up to 200 miles. Nitrogen produces blue or purplish red aurora. The dance of the aurora is shaped by the Earth's magnetic field. As charged particles from the sun arrive, they are drawn towards the magnetic poles. This is why auroras are most commonly seen in the polar regions. The sun and Earth are in a constant dynamic interaction. The eruptions on the sun's surface release streams of charged particles, which are carried by solar winds towards Earth. When these particles interact with the Earth's magnetic field, they create currents of electricity that flow along lines of magnetic force into the polar regions. When these currents reach the atmosphere, they cause the gas particles there to glow, creating the auroras. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember you're witnessing a spectacular ballet, a dance of light and magnetism, played out on a cosmic stage. These mesmerizing displays are not just beautiful, they are a visual testament to the complex interactions between the sun and Earth. The mesmerizing dance of light in the polar skies truly encapsulates the magic of Earth's natural phenomena. Witness the epic journeys undertaken by various species across land and sea in the name of survival. From the icy tundras to the scorching deserts, from the deepest valleys to the highest mountaintops, the spectacle of mass migrations is one of the most breathtaking events in the natural world. Every year, millions of creatures set out on these perilous voyages driven by an instinct as old as life itself. Either not casual strolls, but desperate dashes for survival, often covering thousands of miles, and fraught with danger at every turn. Let's take a moment to consider the reasons behind these migrations. The most common driver is the search for food. Many species move to follow the abundance of their preferred diet, be it wildebeests chafing the rains and fresh grass across the African savanna, or arctic terns flying from pole to pole, to take advantage of the endless summer. However, food is not the only motivator. Many migrations are triggered by the reproductive cycle. Pacific salmon, for example, make an arduous journey upstream to spawn in the very waters they were born in. These heroic fish battle rapids leap over waterfalls and dodge predators in a bid to ensure the survival of their species. Then, there are migrations driven by changes in the environment. The monarch butterfly, a delicate creature weighing less than a gram, embarks on a 2,000-mile journey when the seasons change, navigating with an inbuilt compass that's nothing short of miraculous. Despite the dangers and hardships, these creatures persevere, driven by an unyielding instinct to survive and reproduce. They endure hunger, exhaustion, and the threat of predators. They brave storms and droughts, mountains and oceans. Yet, they press on, each step the testament to the resilience of life. Even in the face of human disruptions, many species continue their age-old traditions. The red crabs of Christmas Island, for instance, still flood the streets in a sea of crimson, undeterred by the network of roads that now crisscross their migration path. In the end, these migrations are not just about survival, but also about renewal and continuity. They are a part of the intricate web of life that connects all living things. Through their epic journeys, these creatures help to pollinate plants, disperse seeds, and sustain other species, playing a crucial role in maintaining the health of our ecosystems. The spectacle of life on the move is a testament to the enduring spirit of survival. The great migrations remind us of the sheer determination and resilience inherent in all life forms. They show us the strength that lies in unity, the power of perseverance, and the incredible journeys that life is willing to undertake in the name of survival. Each creature in its way writes a story of courage and resilience, a tale of life itself. Experience the raw power of nature as thunderstorms unleash their energy in a matter of milliseconds. Thunderstorms, nature's dramatic spectacle, are a potent display of the Earth's atmospheric might. 
Born from the clash of warm and cold air masses, they're more than just a simple downpour. In fact, they're a complex dynamic system that plays a significant role in our planet's climatic balance. The process begins as an updraft of warm, moist air rises into the cooler atmosphere. This air cools down and condenses, forming towering cumulon in this clouds, the harbingers of a storm. As these clouds grow and multiply, the stage is set for a thunderstorm's grand performance. But what makes a thunderstorm truly spectacular is the enormous energy it releases. Imagine this. A single thunderstorm can generate power equivalent to about 20 atomic bombs. This energy is manifested in the form of lightning, a breathtaking visual display of electrical discharge. From the stormy skies emerge the serene and splendid rainbows. Our journey through nature's wonders now takes a tranquil turn as we delve into the charm of rainbows. These mesmerizing arcs of color are not just a spectacle to behold, but they also hold deep significance in various cultures worldwide, and the science behind their formation is equally fascinating. Just think about it. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that causes a spectrum of light to appear in the sky when the sun shines onto droplets of moisture in the Earth's atmosphere. It takes the form of a multicolored arc with red on the outer part and violet on the inner section. This intricate gantz between sunlight and water droplets results in a breathtaking spectacle that have enchanted humans for millennia. Rainbows have a universal appeal, transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences. They have found their way into numerous myths, legends, and folklore. They've been seen as divine messages, symbols of hope, and even bridges to other worlds. In Greek mythology, for instance, Iris was the personification of the rainbow and messenger of the gods. In Norse mythology, a rainbow called the Bifrost connected the realm of the gods with the world of humans. In the modern age, rainbows continue to captivate us. They're seen as symbols of peace and unity. The rainbow flag, for example, is recognized worldwide as a symbol of LGBTQ, plus pride and diversity. Rainbows also often appear in children's stories and games, maintaining a sense of wonder and magic. But it's not just the symbolism that makes rainbows fascinating. The science behind them is equally captivating. It all comes down to the process of refraction, reflection, and dispersion of light. When a beam of sunlight encounters a raindrop, it slows down and bends, or refracts. Some of the light reflects off the inside surface of the droplet, and as it exits, it refracts again. This bending and bouncing of light results in the spectrum of colors we see in a rainbow. However, no two people see the thing rainbow. That's because the appearance of a rainbow depends on where you're standing in relation to the light source. It's a beautiful reminder of how we each have our unique perspective of the world. And let's not forget double rainbows, a phenomenon where two rainbows appear simultaneously. The second, danger arc appears above and outside the primary rainbow, with the colors reversed. This happens due to a double reflection of sunlight inside the raindrops. Rainbows, with their tranquil beauty, provide a soothing contrast to nature's fury. They remind us that even after the stormiest weather, there's beauty and peace to be found. So the next time you see a rainbow, take a moment to appreciate not just its beauty, but also the extraordinary natural processes and cultural significance behind this enchanting phenomenon. Journey to the fiery heart of the Earth, where volcanoes shape and reshape the landscape. Volcanoes are one of nature's most powerful and awe-inspiring phenomena. These mighty giants stand as testament to Earth's dynamic nature, their fiery eruptions a stark reminder of the geological forces that shape our world. So, what exactly are volcanoes? In essence, they are vents or fissures in the Earth's crust through which molten rock or magma rises to the surface. When the pressure from the molten rock becomes too great, the volcano erupts, spewing out a mix of hot gases, ash, and lava. But volcanoes are not just agents of destruction. In fact, they play a crucial role in the creation of new land. When the lava from an eruption cools and hardens, it forms a new layer of Earth's crust. Over time, repeated eruptions can build up mountains or form islands. Some of the world's most fertile soils are found near volcanoes, created from the rich minerals and volcanic ash. Turn your attention to the rhythmic rise and fall of the world's largest water body, influenced by the moon and the sun. The tides, a seemingly simple yet incredibly complex phenomenon, play a significant role in shaping our planet. The interplay of the earth, moon, and sun leads to this natural spectacle that we so often take for granted. So, what's the science behind tides? Well, it all boils down to gravity. 
The moon, although far smaller than the Earth, has a gravitational pull strong enough to tug at our planet's waters. This gravitational dance results in the water being pulled towards the moon, causing a bulge or high tide. On the other side of the Earth, inertia causes the water to bulge out, creating another high tide. Meanwhile, areas perpendicular to these bulges experience low tide. As the Earth spins on its axis, different locations pass through these bulges, creating the regular cycle of two high tides and two low tides each day. The Sun also plays a part in this tidal ballet, albeit a lesser one due to its distance from the Earth. When the Sun, Moon, and Earth align, during a full moon or new moon, their combined gravitational pulls result in exceptionally high and low tides, known as spring tides. Conversely, when the Sun and Moon are at right angles relative to the Earth, their gravitational forces partially cancel each other out, leading to neap tides, with less pronounced differences between high and low tides. Tides are much more than just the rise and fall of sea levels. They have a profound impact on marine life. Many marine species, such as crabs, sea turtles, and various birds, rely on the tides for feeding and breeding. The intertidal zone, the area between the high and low tide lines, is a hub of biodiversity, teeming with life that has adapted to the ever-changing environment. For humans, tides have been significant throughout history. Early seafarers used the tides for navigation, and fishing communities have long based their schedules around the tides. Today, we even harness the immense power of the tides to generate renewable energy. Tidal energy is a clean, sustainable source of power that holds great potential for our future. Yet, tides also present challenges. Coastal areas must contend with the destructive power of storm surges, which are amplified by high tides. Understanding and predicting tides is crucial for mitigating such risks. The ceaseless ebb and flow of tides is a fascinating study of celestial influence on our planet. It's a reminder of how interconnected everything in our universe truly is. From the gravitational pull of our moon and sun, to the tiny crabs scuttling across the beach at low tide, we are all part of a grand cosmic dance. Venture into the stark yet vibrant world of deserts, where life thrives against all odds. Often perceived as barren and hostile environments, deserts are, in reality, dynamic ecosystems teeming with life. Each creature that calls the desert home has adapted in remarkable ways to survive the harsh conditions. From the resilient cacti that store water in their thick, waxy skin, to the elusive fennec fox that dissipates heat through its large ears, the desert is a testament to the remarkable resilience of life. Desert landscapes are as diverse as the life they harbor. From rolling sand dunes that shift with the whims of the wind, to rocky outcroppings that stand as silent sentinels against time, each desert presents a unique face to the world. The Atacama, the driest desert on Earth, is a stark, moon-like landscape of salt flats and sand formations. In contrast, the Sonoran Desert is a verdant world of towering saguaro cacti and blooming wildflowers. Deserts play a pivotal role in our planet's health. They act as Earth's thermostat, reflecting sunlight back into the atmosphere and helping to regulate global temperatures. Moreover, despite their arid conditions, Deserts are biodiversity hotspots. They host a myriad of species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. This rich biodiversity makes deserts crucial for scientific research and conservation efforts. Deserts are also a source of untapped potential. Beneath their sandy surfaces lie untold reserves of minerals and fossil fuels. They are also ideal locations for harnessing solar energy, a clean and sustainable power source that could play a key role in our transition to a greener future. Yet, like all natural wonders, deserts face their share of threats. Climate change, resource extraction, and irresponsible tourism are all taking a toll on these fragile ecosystems. As we continue to explore and understand the magic of deserts, it's crucial that we also work to protect them. So let's not perceive deserts as merely barren wastelands. Instead, let's appreciate them as they truly are, resilient, diverse, and integral parts of our planet's ecosystem. They are a testament to life's tenacity and adaptability, a world where beauty thrives amidst adversity. Deserts, seemingly barren, pulsate with life and magic. Explore the last ice age on Earth, where glaciers carve and sculpt the landscapes. Glaciers are more than just monumental slabs of ice. They are dynamic and vibrant features of our planet. Formed over thousands of years, glaciers are essentially a buildup of fallen snow that compresses into large, thickened ice masses. This process is like a time machine, capturing and preserving the climate conditions of the past at the time each layer was formed. As grand architects of nature, 
Glaciers have played an instrumental role in shaping our landscapes. They carve valleys and mountains, creating dramatic and breathtaking sceneries. Picture the jagged peaks of the Himalayas or the sweeping valleys of Yosemite National Park, all masterpieces of glacial artistry. But glaciers aren't just about the past. They are significant players in the Earth's climate system. Acting as gigantic mirrors, glaciers reflect sunlight back into space, helping to cool the Earth. They also store around 70% of the world's freshwater, playing a key role in our water cycle. The health of glaciers is a telling sign of our changing climate. As global temperatures rise, glaciers are melting at an unprecedented rate. This melting ice contributes to rising sea levels and can lead to flooding in coastal regions. It also threatens freshwater supplies in areas that depend on meltwater for drinking water and irrigation. Yet within this melting ice, scientists find valuable information. By drilling ice cores, they unlock a detailed record of past climate conditions, tracing back hundreds of thousands of years. These icy chronicles can help us understand how our climate has changed over time and predict future trends. So, glaciers are not merely static relics of the last ice age. They are dynamic entities that continue to shape our landscapes, influence our climate, and offer vital clues about our planet's history and its future. As we continue to grapple with the impacts of climate change, understanding the secrets held within glaciers becomes even more crucial. The story of glaciers is a story of Earth itself, a tale of change, resilience, and extraordinary interconnections. Glaciers remind us of the intricate beauty of our planet and our profound responsibility to protect it. They are a testament to Earth's past, a barometer of its present, and a predictor of its future. Glaciers, the mighty rivers of ice, hold secrets of Earth's past, present, and future. Witness the power and grace of waterfalls, each with its unique rhythm. These natural wonders are not just a sight to behold, but also a testament to the unyielding forces that shape our planet. Waterfalls come in many forms, from the towering torrents that plunge from great heights to the gentle cascades that tumble over rocks. Each type of waterfall is born from the relentless dance between water and land, carving out their own distinctive paths over time. One of the most captivating types of waterfalls is the plunge waterfall. This is where water descends vertically, losing contact with the bedrock surface, resulting in a powerful and awe-inspiring spectacle. Think of Angel Falls in Venezuela, the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall. It's a breathtaking example of nature's raw power. Then there are the multi-step or tiered waterfalls, where water falls in a series of steps or stages. Each stage is a different height, creating a cascading effect that's truly mesmerizing. Iguazu Falls, straddling the border of Argentina and Brazil, is a stunning example of this type of waterfall. But waterfalls are not just about beauty and grandeur. They play a crucial role in our ecosystems. As water falls, it aerates, adding vital oxygen to the water, which benefits aquatic life. Waterfalls also act as natural filters, helping to remove sediments and impurities. Moreover, they contribute to the creation of unique microenvironments. The constant spray of water creates a moist environment that supports a variety of plant and animal species. Some of these species are found nowhere else on Earth, making waterfalls critical for biodiversity. Let's not forget about the formation of waterfalls. It's a fascinating process that involves erosion and the differential hardness of rocks. Over thousands or even millions of years, water erodes softer rock layers, while harder layers resist erosion. The result? A sharp drop-off where the water falls, creating a waterfall. Interestingly, waterfalls are not static. They migrate upstream over time due to the continuous erosion at their base. This slow but persistent movement is a testament to the never-ending cycle of change in nature. Waterfalls, in their majestic flow, are also a source of inspiration for many. They symbolize strength, persistence, and the beauty of nature. They remind us of the power of water and its vital role in shaping our world. And so, from the thunderous roar of the plunge waterfall to the delicate cascade of the tiered falls, waterfalls continue to captivate us with their power and grace. They are a testament to the dynamic processes that shape our Earth, serving as a reminder of the intricate and interconnected nature of our world. Waterfalls, with their mesmerizing flow, symbolize the eternal cycle of water on Earth. Finally, marvel at the miracle of life, from the tiniest insect to the largest elephant. The planet we call home is a bustling hive of life, a complex network of organisms big and small, each with their unique role in the intricate web of existence. Life, 
in its myriad forms is a phenomenon that continues to astound us with its resilience, adaptability, and sheer diversity. Picture this vast tapestry of life, where every thread is a living being, contributing to the whole in ways we are only beginning to understand. From the microscopic bacteria that populate every corner of the Earth, to the majestic blue whales that roam the oceans, life is everywhere. Consider the ant, small in stature but mighty in collective strength. Their colonies are a testament to the power of cooperation and organization, where each individual plays a crucial role in the survival of the whole. Now cast your thoughts to the mighty elephant, a gentle giant that roams the plains of Africa and Asia. Their complex social structures and emotional intelligence are a marvel to behold, reminding us of the depth of animal cognition. Reflect on the resilience of life, as seen in the hardy plants that bloom amidst the harshest desert conditions, or the deep sea creatures that thrive in the crushing pressures of the ocean depths. Life finds a way, as the saying goes, and it certainly holds true when you look at the adaptability and tenacity of these organisms. Ponder over the sheer diversity of life forms on our planet, from the vibrant coral reefs teeming with marine life to the lush rainforests that house more species of plants and animals than anywhere else on Earth, we are privileged to be part of such an incredibly diverse biosphere. Think about the intricate interconnections that bind all life forms together. The bees that pollinate our crops, the trees that provide us with oxygen, the fungi that recycle nutrients back into the soil, each organism has a role to play in the grand scheme of things. Contemplate the unique survival strategies employed by different organisms. The chameleon's ability to change color for camouflage, the cheetah's incredible speed for hunting, the turtle's hard shell for protection. These are all examples of the amazing adaptations that life have evolved in response to the challenges of survival. Life, in all its forms, is a testament to the richness and resilience of our planet. The miracle of life is not just about the existence of individual organisms, but the intricate web of relationships and dependencies that bind them together. It's about the beautiful dance of life that has been unfolding for billions of years, a dance in which we too are participants. As we marvel at the miracle of life, let us remember our responsibility to protect and sustain this incredible world we are a part of. For in preserving the diversity and richness of life on Earth, we ensure our own survival. The miracle of life, in all its forms, is a testament to the richness and resilience of our planet. As our exploration of Earth's natural phenomena concludes, we leave with a deeper appreciation for the magic of our planet. We have journeyed through the ethereal beauty of the aurora, witnessed the determination in the great migrations, and felt the raw power of thunderstorms. Our eyes have been enchanted by the charm of rainbows. We've stood in awe of the majesty of volcanoes, and we've pondered the rhythmic dance of the ocean's tides. We have unearthed the magic that lies within deserts and discovered the secrets locked within glaciers. We have listened to the symphony of waterfalls and marveled at the miracle of life and its myriad forms. Each phenomenon, a testament to the intricate and delicate balance of our world. Each moment, a reminder of our responsibility to cherish and protect it. Thank you for joining in this exploration of our wondrous world. May we continue to uncover the many secrets that nature holds.